All right, coming up next, it's a UFC lightweight division bout. You know, we trot out the term well-rounded in modern-day mixed martial arts, maybe more than we should, but this guy fits the bill. Maybe doesn't stand out in any one area on film, but plus skills everywhere. And you gotta think tonight, Joe, with his skill set, he's more than comfortable really anywhere this fight goes. If he needs to stand and strike, he can do it. If the fight hits the canvas, he can submit you. A lot of different skills brought to the table by this young man. He's an extremely well-rounded mixed martial artist. Fantastic stand-up, great wrestler, and very slick on the ground. He's worked hard to have world-class skills at every aspect of the sport, and there are very few, if any, holes in his game. Fighting out of Katy, Texas, he was born in Houston, still one of the younger fighters on this roster, top to bottom. Super Sage Northcutt, a lot of hype and pressure and expectations placed upon this young man, but he has delivered at times in his UFC career, a little bit up and down of late. We'll see what Super Sage Northcutt has for the masses in another big opportunity spot tonight. This guy has ridiculous hand speed, lightning fast punches that come in absolutely swift combinations. And now our kill the tape for this lightweight scrap. More than five years apart, and they both possess a similar height and reach. To get us started with the official introductions, we go inside to the veteran voice of the Octagon. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a Muay Thai kickboxer and jiu-jitsu fighter. Making his professional debut here tonight. He stands by the temperatures tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Paris, France, Assassin. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a karate fighter. Holding a professional record of nine wins, two losses. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Super Sage no And when the action begins, our referee in charge of Herb Dean. Herb Dean, our referee for this one. You ready to fight? You ready? Well, always great to be back in Houston, Texas. Good to have you with us tonight as we get underway with live UFC action from Toyota Center. So here's the karate stylist, Super Sage Northcutt, 21 years old. He was discovered on the wildly popular reality show Dana White looking for a fight. And Northcutt has had some shining moments in the UFC, still a developing fighter, but a guy who many believe eventually will work his way into that lightweight top 15. Northcutt gets caught by that straight punch. That'll get his attention. All right, the first round is underway here. You've got to watch out for this fighter's powerful overhand punches can do damage from both sides. And even when fighters know what's coming, oftentimes they are unable to stop it. Oh, so an interesting decision there is he decides to stand up and relinquish the dominant position. Nice straight right. You're seeing a lot of different looks tonight, Joe. Switches to Southpaw once again. Big power shot there. They're going after it quick here. Level change there, goes for the takedown. Northcutt gets up, he is back on the feet. Looked like he was in a submission. Oh, oh nice massive slam! That'll change the complexion of this one. And he's gonna try to take the back. He's working from full back mount. Recovery, man, right back to his feet. Yeah, and here he goes again. A beautiful entry as he secures the double leg takedown. All right, so he's got his head here looking to set up the guillotine choke now. He's got that guillotine locked in. This is, could be it. He's free. That guillotine was close. In half guard position. 
got his back here. He's working from full mount again. Hip escape, gets out of the full mount. He's doing a great job of moving and transitioning here on the ground. Beautifully executed sweep. Northcutt gets back up again, nicely done. And he connects there. See, it's not just his speed, it's speed with proper technique. And that's one of the things that makes him so dangerous. And it man. Big shots. He's hurt. This could be it. Body kick, look at that. Nice little shot there. You can tell that body shot hurt him bad. That's oh, a beautiful there. Elbow. Beautiful oh, move. Big elbow. Oh, huge elbow. And he's in trouble right now. Nice leg kick. Now goes in and secures the takedown. And back up again. He changes stances oh. and switches southpaw. He's wow. got him here. Lands a giant kick. Hurt him with that uppercut. Big oh, shot with the left. left hand. Whoa, these guys are swinging. And now he lands a combination. Oh, oh man, the canvas is shaking as he slams him down. Excellent movement on the ground here. Always trying to better his position. Sweet reversal. Look at this reversal. He's got him flattened down on his back. He's got his back here, looking for the rear naked choke. He's got him flattened out. He wants to get one arm underneath the neck. Trying to work that arm under the neck for the choke. He's got it. He's got the arm under the neck now. He wants to get it underneath the chin. And he's free. That rear naked choke was very tight. In half guard now. And busy as he looks to improve position here. 45 seconds to go here in round one. Excellent movement and transitions here on the ground. Staying busy. Side control. Northcutt gets back up again. Switching stances here. There's a single attempt. Oh, he gets the takedown late in the round here. That could affect the judging. Excellent movement on the ground here. Constantly moving, constantly staying busy. Oh, that's got to be discouraging as he gets right back up again. Oh, oh, he slams him down with authority. Round two is next. And there's the horn, huge knockdown in that round. Great round from Northcutt. Yeah, that was a big moment in that round and probably the most significant aspect of the round. Let's take a look at that again. Let's see it one more time. Brittany Palmer in the building tonight. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, here we go with round two. He's definitely going to want to start this round off fast. Oh! Big shot! He's got him right here. Oh, beautiful kick there. He's teeing off with some vicious shots. Wow! Goes down! Too. Look at this! Take down! Working out of that southpaw stance. How about oh, that shoot? Oh! He's in trouble! He's in trouble! Oh, he's, oh, out. he's out! He's out! He's out! Beautiful knockout blow to finish the fight here. Yeah, Joe, just an absolutely gorgeous shot to spell the end for his opponent. Crowd is absolutely loving it. 
He gets the near-perfect land. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming, but just the way he drew it up here tonight, saw that little crack of an opening and barged right through it to get the knockout. Let's take a look at it from a different angle. So a huge result and a seminal moment for him here tonight as he gets the big knockout win. That could hold up as one of the better KOs of the year. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 42 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, Super Sage Northcutt! So there he is, the inimitable Super Sage Northcutt with arguably his best effort to date inside the octagon. You can't forget just how green he was when he made his UFC debut not all that long ago. Clearly now, Northcutt has taken his game to the next level. Exciting victory for Super Sage under the bright lights here tonight.